All right, guys. Here's the big thing. We got some massive concepts that are just launched behind the scenes from a company called Intamin. Now, ever since that Negloland project, I've been on the run. I've been moving from city to city, from state to state, from town to town, from county to county, all around the world just trying to go on the run and make sure these plans do not go unnoticed. I'm going to leave you in the capable hands of my good source, Coaster Chow. He's going to tell you all about these exciting new projects. It's best to get the information out from him rather than me. Because if anyone finds out this came from me, I'm in big trouble. I gotta go. He's in your hands now. Stay tuned, stay safe, stay socially distant. I know I am. Oh, oh I love being the agent, don't I? Hello there guys, I'm Coaster Chow and welcome to this news update now. We've just got some breaking news from Intamin, the brilliant manufacturers they are, and we've just got some brand new concepts that have dropped on their YouTube and social media accounts. Now we have four brilliant concepts to share with you guys. We've got the Hot Racer, we've got the Vertical LSM Coaster, we've got the Giga Splash, and we've got the Ultra Splash. So we're gonna go through it video by video and analyze it all in this massive jam-packed video. But before we do that, guys, make sure you like the like button, make sure you give that subscribe button a subscribe, Give the subscribe button a subscribe, of course that makes sense. Make sure you comment down below your thoughts and opinions. Ring that notification bell so you never miss YouTube video as well. And for now guys, let's get into this video and let's analyse each individual Intamin concept. Shout out to Intamin for the videos, one by one. So we are kicking things off with the Hot Racer concepts. Now the Hot Racer is known by three different models but basically this is Intamin's take on the single rail roller coasters that were known famous by Rocky Mountain Construction. Now like I said earlier the Hot Racer concept has three breathtaking models. Now the first of these models is known as Infinity. Now Infinity is the world's most compact racing roller coaster with 330 meters of twin race track including elements such as the world's first double 360 versus s hump element and this is a great coaster track next up overdrive a compact race course with double launch 542 meters of adrenaline reality with the world's first wall ride dive element we love intamin and their new element and finally the autodrome which is 75 seconds of pure racing time it is our 1,090 meters of track with, get this, 20 dueling moments, which is the world's first in roller coasters. Two launches and two boosts over, over two race laps. So next up in the concepts of Intamin is the amazing, amazing LSM Vertical Coaster 420 minus 280. Now... This coaster concept is fantastic because it's the most compact triple launch coaster in the world with minimal footprint. It is also the world's first upside down launch experience which we'll get onto in a little bit when we talk about the elements in particular and one of those elements is the world's first zigzag loop. So we have two models that can go a single cycle or they can go a double cycle which is great for you coaster lovers if you want to go again. Now the layout in full, so from the station you'll do the first swing launch, which is a forward stall at zero Gs. Then you'll go through swing two, which is a backward hang time stall with minus 0.8 Gs, before going through the third swing launch, which is a forward fly through, into the upside down boost, a world's first for roller coasters, which quickly goes into the torpedo dive inversion, through into a high G station pass with a top speed of 104 kilometers per hour, into the world's first zigzag loop, into a high speed fly through, and then a hang time stall at minus 0.6 Gs, as well as going into a de de decelerating backward swing until the return to the station. Now I talked about, I didn't talk much about, to be fair, the other concepts. So while you're enjoying this little POV of the coaster, I want to say that the RMC lookalike concepts look amazing. I'll get onto more details about them after we've watched all the videos. 
But from the look at, from the first reactions before I go in detail later on in this video about this concept, the vertical LSM coaster, I think this is a very good coaster for those parks who would love a compact thrill coaster that suits their market and also provides a good thrill level for all thrill seekers alike. I think this is great. It would be a fantastic concept once the first one is launched. And I think Intamin once again have done themselves justice with this roller coaster. So next up, our first water coaster, and this is through the Giga Splash. Now, this is a colossal beast with specifically 205 meters of interactive water channel, which is a fantastic number for this ride. Now, from the looks of it, this ride has a colossal layout with an absolutely wonderful drop. And wait till you hear the specifics about the degree angle of the drop. You'll be very surprised, but going through this ride and all this fantastic rock work, it'd be fantastic. Now, the ride does have a 285 degree panoramic lift, with the vehicle featuring theatre seating for those breathtaking views wherever it's placed. It has a 40 meter tall length, and get this, an 87 degree drop. That's near vertical for a water coaster. It has a top speed of 100 kilometers per hour, and along with that, as you go down the drop, get a little splash, you go through a minus 1G airtime hill, along with a gigasized splash zone with its own pedestrian bridge. Truly a one-of-a-kind attraction, and something we're all looking forward to getting on in the future. Finally then, you have the final of the four concepts, which is the Ultra Splash. Now, the Ultra Splash is Intamin's take on a Mac Power Splash, which is the well-known concept used for the likes of Pulsar at Warby Belgium and the new one, Aquaman Powerway, for next year at Six Flags Over Texas. Now, this has a state-of-the-art track structure, according to the video, with a high capacity and single station operation. Now, this ride goes through the usual Power Splash layout. However, the main difference with this one it's got that same single rail style track as the Hot Racer concept, which makes it very, very different from the Max style concept of the Power Splash with the track that they use. It's using the brand new Intamin single rail track that it's used for its new concepts, including that Hot Racer. Now, from the looks of this, this is going to be an impressive looking roller coaster for whoever buys it, and I'll get on to who I think should buy it at the end of this video. But this has what's described on the video as an impressive wave splash at the end of the track layout. And looking at the trains on that drop, it really does look like an amazing track um, layout as well as a seating arrangement and the actual train layout as well. This is a highly dynamic ride with several unique airtime moments. And this roller coaster will prove to be a major, major, major success for anyone who wants to buy it. So that, my fine fellows, is the brilliant Intamin Concepts. Now, I want to quickly stretch that I love each and every one of these concepts. I think they're absolutely fantastic. I think the level of detail that's gone into them is fantastic. It's remarkable. It's inspiring for me personally because I love seeing manufacturers go above and beyond to deliver the best the most impressive concepts in roller coaster history and attractions history. So let's talk first of all about the Hot Racer concepts. Now, like I said, there are three different concepts. You've got the Autodrome, which is like your West Coast Racer style dual Mobius loop racing coaster with the single rail track uh, instead of the Premier style track. You've got the one below that, which is the Overdrive, which is your double launch, one circuit, one track racing coaster. Again, single rail, like all of them in this um, particular concept. And of course, you've got the Infinity, which is your uh, dueling track um, there. So, yeah, and of course, like that one is the most compact, it's the world's most compact racing coaster. So, anyone will be lucky to buy any of these. Now, RMC single rails are the Six Flags kind of thing. So, I have a gut feeling that maybe, maybe Cedar Fair go down the Intamin single rail routes. Now, this just, this is just a precaution or just a prediction uh, because RMC seems to be going down the Six Flags route, even though they have worked with Cedar Fair, so they can, they can cross match. But I think with RMC selling more of their single rails to Six Flags, as well as other parks, I think Intamin could go down the Cedar Fair route with their single race coasters. Um, and I think that either the... I, I, and to be fair, you can do a custom layout if you want to. 
but I think with the concepts, with the actual concepts, the prototype concepts, the Infinity, the uh, Overdrive, and the Autodrome, I think the Autodrome is the perfect multi-launch racing coaster for Cedar Point. Don't you guys agree? This would be their single rail track West Coast racers. This would be the racing coaster that Cedar fans would, uh, would want, basically. Um... And yes, they have top top thrill dragster, but they haven't got a multi-launch Mobius Loop racing coaster, and they haven't really got a dueling coaster. So, correct me if I'm wrong, but wouldn't this be a good replacement for Gemini in the future? Like, wouldn't this be a good replacement for Gemini because it's thrilling, it's dueling like Gemini, and it's got the the modern thrills that Cedar Point seem to be investing in, as well as keeping their history. So I think when the Gemini time does come, I think this would be a perfect replacement for Gemini. Now talking about the other concepts, the Infinity and the Overdrive. Now the Overdrive, I think that will be a pretty nice fit for somewhere below Cedar Point, what they were calling their train. Somewhere like a Carowinds, but they've got Copperhead Strike, so it kind of won't make sense. Maybe this would be good for Michigan's Adventure, or Worlds of Fun, or Valley Fair, or somewhere like that. In terms of outside of the big chains, I think that the Autodrome would be a nice fit for... Let's go for somewhere in the UK. Let's go for somewhere like Alton Towers. I think that would be perfect. Um, perfect coaster. Perfect multi-launch coaster as well. I think if you work the space really well, I think Alton Towers could get this. Or maybe Thorpe Park. Thorpe Park. That's an idea. Uh, <laughs> but the Overdrive could be a big fit for Thought Park as well. I think they'd be doing well, well with this, especially with the capacity uh, that seems to be improved from the Intamin versions compared to the Rocky Mountain Construction versions. Now, the Infinity version, I think, is perfect for a smaller park. Look, like, let's take the UK as an example. Lightwater Valley, if they're pretty cheap, get them on the phone, because I think this would be perfect if Lightwater Valley had a bigger budget. Because this is the compact thrill coaster that you've been missing. Now, I think if they don't go with this, I think something like the vertical LSM coaster wouldn't be a bad fit for Lightwater Valley or smaller parks as well. Now, the vertical LSM coaster, it's not single rail. It doesn't use the single rail track like the, uh, the Giga Splash does, the Ultra Splash, and of course the uh, Hot Racer single rail coasters. But this one uses traditional Intamin modern day track. This is a completely modern track. And this is basically their take on the Premier Sky, Skyrocket 2. So you look at Superman Ultimate Flight at Six Flags Discovery Kingdom. That is a Skyrocket 2 by Premier. Uh, the Zombie Ride at Bosque Mexico. Um... Uh, Sky Scream, a holiday park in Germany, here in Europe. Those are examples of Premier Skyrocket 2's. This is Intamin's take on that. This is basically Intamin's take. Now, I think in terms of previous Intamin concepts, I don't know about you guys, but this purely resembles the likes or shows vibes of the Space Diver concept that they had years ago, uh, back in the 90s, with the likes of Flashback and Z Force and all those names. I think this resembles like a modern day version of the Space Diver, but also with some Skyrocket 2, you know, brought into it. And I think that this is definitely an impressive concept. And, you know, in terms of Europe, this would be perfect at a part like Le Requid de Tocciores. They're investing in their brand new Eurofighter Vatica, that's already opened. Uh, so I think for their next coaster project, if they were looking for something more compact, I would go with something like this, where it's a launch. It's made by Intamin, which is great for their, you know, um, open book, their colleague book, to see who they work with. And I think it's something that the part would really love. Now, if you ask me, when the time comes, now I only, I know they refurbished it a couple of years ago, but when the time comes that Sequoia Adventure at Gardaland, which is now known as Sequoia Magic Loop, goes from the park, this would be a perfect replacement for it. It would be brilliant to see a magic themed Intamin vertical LSM launch coaster replace Sequoia Magic Loop. When when the time comes for it, have a pure magic themed version of this of this concept at Gardaland. What a move that will be for the park. What a move. In terms of the UK, I could see this at a park maybe like Drake Manor if they were uh, looking for a thrill coaster that's compact and something that can fit their market. Um, 
maybe this would be good to replace Hero at Flamingo Land. Uh, maybe Flamingo Land goes for a flying coaster another time in a different area. But I think for the Hero spot, I'd like to see this replace Hero maybe. Um, so yeah, that that's going to be an interesting debate to see where those ones go. But that's the only ones I can think of. There's a few I can think of for now. Uh, now, the Giga Splash. Now, the Giga Splash is very, 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 very exciting because this is some this is something you'd find on the Shoot the Shoots Rides site at Cedar Point. This is something you'd find on that site. This is something they would invest in. If Six Flags Magic Mountain needed a modern water coaster, this is what they'd invest in. If Thought Park needed something water to replace Logger's Leap, this is what you replace it with. It's the Giga Splash. Now, Thought Park, I believe, doesn't have too much of a height restriction. I'm not, I'm not sure exactly what the height restriction is for Thought Park, but I know Magic Mountain doesn't have a height restriction, and certainly Cedar Point doesn't have much of a height restriction or any restriction at all. However, I do believe that Thought Park, Magic Mountain, Cedar Point, any of those parks could invest in that Giga Splash. Um, it's an impressive concept. I think China could maybe invest in one of these. Um, if there was, if this was to go to another Cedar Fair Park, except Cedar Point, I could maybe see it at Kings Island. I think they could do with one. Um, I'd like to see Alton Towers do it, but maybe not a giga height. Maybe a, a smaller height, so maybe introduce a smaller model for Alton Towers uh, exclusively for them, and that would probably sort the the water coaster problem. Now we have that's flu now with Flume gone for Wickerman. Uh, so I think a smaller model, not a giga model or a hyper model, but just a decent height. Uh, I know this is you know 40 meters tall or whatever, but maybe a smaller height for Alton Towers. But I think Thought Park, Magic Mountain, Cedar Point, Kings Island. Perfect for them. Now, the elements on this creates an impressive coaster. Now, I say Thought Park because, like I said, Logger's Leap, it's gone. So, you need a water ride, basically. And if they decide to remove Tidal Wave in the future, I think this would be the perfect replacement. It would be a perfect opportunity to completely refurbish that entire area of the park. And this would be a perfect opportunity to revamp that area, that Amity section into the park into like a refurbished water section, like, like a refurbished Amity Cove, or just Amity, and bring in this Giga Splash to replace Tidal Wave. Either to go along with Tidal Wave or replace Tidal Wave in the future, I would see this replace Tidal Wave in the future, or go alongside it on the site of Logger's Leap, maybe. Uh, I've heard some rumblings that Old Town could be refurbished and rethemed, but again, I'm not going to comment any more on that, because it is just speculation at this stage. Um, but yeah, very interesting stuff there from the Ultra Splash. Now, my friends, uh, speaking of the Ultra Splash, uh, the Giga Splash, moving on to the Ultra Splash, I spoke about them in completely different ways, but the Giga Splash I just talked about, now we move on to the final concept, which is the Ultra Splash. Now, the Ultra Splash is their take on a map Power Splash, and just like the, ult the Giga Splash, uh, we have the single rail track uh, that we know from the Hot Racer concept and the Giga Splash concept, but this is their take on a map Power Splash, the Ultra Splash. This is the map power splash take by Intamin, version of Intamin. Now, like I said, single rail track, similarities to a power splash apart from that. Um, high capacity, single station. Again, this is something you'd see maybe go to a Cedar Fair park. If the Mac ones are going in at Six Flags, then the Intamin ones go to Cedar Fair. Um, now, this has brought up an interesting debate, and I said I'd talk about who could potentially buy this power splash. What if... Now, I spoke about this in a previous video because we're looking at a screaming swing and potentially a power splash in, two, in, in, those, in, in the next two years at SeaWorld San Antonio. What if the power splash turned out to be an intimate? Now, probably not the case um, because it looks like it will be a map power splash from the, from the plans that we saw and the lions that we saw uh, delivered uh, in the previous video when we spoke about this. So maybe not SeaWorld San Antonio. But maybe another SeaWorld park could invest in the Intamin version. So someone like a SeaWorld Orlando, or a SeaWorld San Diego, or maybe even one of the Busch Gardens parks, or both Busch Gardens parks could invest in an Intamin Power Splash, or what's known as the Intamin Ultra Splash. Um, so I think that, again, that's a very interesting debate. And I think it's going to take a while to sink in as to who could buy these specific concepts. So... There we go. So that, my friends, is this video. I told you it was a bulky video talking about who could buy, what the concepts were like, what my first reactions were. And I'll tell you what, 
I'm very excited. I am really, really excited about these concepts. I think it's going to be brilliant to see all these concepts uh, spread out across the world over a few years' time. And, you know, the fact they've only just released these concepts, I pray, I pray, maybe not 2021, but 2022 maybe, or 2023, I hope at least one of these concepts comes into fruition. If they're coming in 2021, I'll be very surprised. So, uh, um, so we never know. We never know, do we? So, there we go. So, thank you very much, guys, for watching this theme park news update on these Intamin concepts. Make sure you go and follow Intamin's YouTube channel. I've linked it in the description down below. Thank you to them for the videos from their channel. Make sure you go subscribe to them. Make sure you subscribe to this channel as well for theme park news, reviews, vlogs, interviews, in and out of the industry, and some funny videos as well with the intros like you saw at the start of today with my good pal, Unknown Agent. I think that's what we're calling this character. And for now, guys, my name is Coast Chow. Keep living the coast of life, and I'll see you guys next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have an awesome day. I'm gassed. I'm literally gassed about this.